Now, the Human Science Research Council report yesterday revealed that we have 33.6% of women in their lifetime having experienced physical violence. That amounts to at least nothing less than 7.7 million women in our country. It's a big number. And then when you look at it, you also have an additional <coughs> stats that's already telling you over 3 million women in South Africa are experiencing sexual violence. So you've got physical, you've got sexual violence. And in some cases, it's a dual, that somebody can beat you up and still rape you. So, so we, we have to understand that. And of course, we were talking about a lot of dynamics, uh, Deputy Minister, and some of the dynamics is that, of course, what research is doing now, scientists have gotten it because we are looking at household survey and we know the prevalence. But scientists are already telling us this is the reality of many South Africans. Because what they did was to pull the data that says in the lifetime, this is what people are experiencing. But they also pulled the data of incidents that have taken place in the last 12 months. Now, 12 months, we are already in November. That means starting from December to now, you would know those stats. But also what we have learned to accept is that information will not be correlating with what we get from South African Police Service. Remember, the police service will give you data based on what is being reported. They're not necessarily telling you every incident that have taken place because what other data that was released a couple of years ago that says out of nine women one gets to report any violation that happens to them and this is by the way just women and there was another report that was released a few years ago that says every lgbti person out of 25 of them only one gets to report it's already telling you 88 percent of the lgbti population don't report violation against them and then additional to the report, and I'm stating this because this is the latest data, right? Yeah. What has been coming out of the HSRC report is now violence against persons with disability. In, in fact, it's a double percentage of what we have. Because persons with disability, particularly women or children, are often locked in houses. People don't see them. People don't get to serve them correctly. There's high level of discrimination. All of those things are there on the table. Now, we, we have to then realize, what is our role as stakeholders? What is our role as media houses in terms of dealing with the scourge of violence? 